From being a prodigy in the game with his next level skills, to contend for the crown of the pound for pound championship title, here are how boxing pros have reacted to Terence Crawford's skill level. You have to admit, Terence Bud Crawford's making a name for himself as one of the most skilled boxers of his time, and there's no doubt that he'll stay on top for many years to come. The athlete's holding on to multiple world championships in three weight classes, making it all look effortless when it really isn't. The champions not only won over boxing fans' hearts, but with a long string of iconic wins and walking away with a TKO after bringing down one champion after another, I'm sure his opponents are losing sleep before going up against him. In fact, he's dominated the boxing world so hard that boxing pros can't help but praise him after every match. Terence's boxing style is one for the legends, because he can switch it up right away based on his opponent's abilities. The exceptional boxing IQ he possesses helps him read their next move and adjust his technique to deal the most damage by infighting, counterpunching, or his intense jab and parrying. Although when he decides to quickly tire them out, he baits them into going all out and reserves his strength with his quick defense maneuverability before applying pressure and landing his tremendously finishing power shots. Trust me, opponents find it nearly impossible to keep up in the ring when he decides to switch from orthodox to southpaw or the other way around in the blink of an eye. Bud's also shown off his range by boxing and switching comfortably between both stances, which tells you how precise and disciplined he is to have perfected his style so that he can still use all his tactics either way. Boxing pros have praised him for his speed, immense power, and adaptability in every fight, putting him on the elite list of some of the most complete fights in the world. Although he fights swiftly and makes it look easy, he's worked hard throughout his career to be so appreciated. Terrence is from Omaha, Nebraska, and while the state isn't known for giving us the strongest boxers, he made sure to become their pride by making his way up in the sport. Must have given young Nebraska fighters hope of becoming champions too. His career began way back in 2008, but he won his first lightweight championship in 2014 when he crushed Scottish boxer Ricky Burns in the WBO World Lightweight title. His first win was then followed up with two more in the division against Yuriorkis Gamboa and Ray Beltran, after which he decided to reign on super lightweight champions parades. Terence's career insanely peaked in 2017 as a super lightweight boxer when he became the first male boxer since Jermaine Taylor in 2005 to simultaneously hold all four boxing major world titles. Yep, yeah, all four of them, which also makes him one of eight boxers to ever do so in all of male and female boxing history. Bud can have all the ego and pride in the world. I don't care and rest my case, because he deserves it. Still, Terrence knew he had so much more to claim, so he moved up to the next division, welterweight. He's already claimed the WBO belt in June 2018 when he fought Jeff Horn, an Australian boxer who claimed the title from Manny Pacquiao in August 2017. Alas, Jeff's reign was brutally taken from him and he only had the lamest excuses to explain his loss against Terence, saying that while Terence deserved the win, he was undermined by one problem, blisters. Oh, and a worn out pair of shoes? Come on, it only takes one day for express shipping to deliver and Jeff had been there for 10 days before his fight. I don't know if anyone actually believes that, including Jeff himself, but all the boxing pros wouldn't buy it and continued rooting for Terence's remarkable energy. Even Errol Spence himself has pointed at Bud for being the best welterweight in the world and says that he is an esteemed complete fighter. Still, his obviously positive remarks about his future opponent haven't gotten to him. And I know you're on the edge of your seat just as much as I am right now to see these boxing icons go up against each other. The unified welterweight champion wouldn't let anyone take his title so easily, just like he's held on to his IBF title since 2017, which is only one out of many belts he's claimed. In all of his nine years as a pro boxer, he's fought 28 times. 22 of which were won by KO and can't miss that he's won every match zero losses. He just might be the one to knock Bud out cold, but the competition between them is fierce and I honestly have no idea who to put my money on. Okay, I'm kidding. Crawford is the obvious choice. Regardless, not all pros in the division are as unfazed by Terrence as Errol, but they're all convinced he's bringing trouble for the current champions. Sean Porter, a former two-time welterweight champion, has said that Terrence is the most talented fighter he's ever seen. Right after their match in November 2021, they had a pretty intense bout with both boxers giving each other their toughest blows 
and showing us their best techniques. Of course, Terence put an end to it when he landed a 10th round technical knockout. He proved to everyone that he fights just about anyone, especially when he's able to swiftly claim belts and knock out multiple title champions, no matter how much tougher they may be. Sean even went as far as to say that Bud's a problem for anyone in the welterweight division. He's got unmatched skills and he keeps polishing and refining his boxing style for every match. He's got all the pros convinced that he's not here to play but to win fair and square. We've even heard Andre Ward say that Terrence is a future Hall of Famer and fans couldn't agree more. It's been as clear as day since his career really picked up, and he's still making it up the ranks. Not only that, but Andre also proceeded to say that he's one of, if not the best, fighters of the generation. At only 35 years old, he's done it all, and he's not gonna stop. But what's even crazier is what he's been able to achieve after his career's peak. Just when his opponents and fans thought he couldn't be scarier, back when he claimed all four major titles in 2017, he proved everyone so wrong. Let's take a minute and go over his professional boxing career achievements so you can have a clearer picture of where he stands right now. In 2023, the boxers got 13 KOs out of 16 wins in world title fights, 3 KO out of 5 wins in lineal title fights, and 7 KO out of 10 wins against world titleists. The best thing is that he's defeated 7 previously undefeated boxers with at least 10 bouts. Good God, this guy is just something else. His world titles include the 2014 to 2015 WBO lightweight title, the junior welterweight from 2015 to 2017, WBC and WBA super lightweight titles from 2016 to 2017, and WBO welterweight titles since 2018. As for his unified and undisputed titles, he holds the belts for junior welterweight titles. Wow! So if not for all that proof of his admirable and impressive feats, you can count on Terrence's skill level to win the pound-for-pound -pound title against Errol Jr. To be real with you, it'd be dumb to not at least believe that he will be in the Hall of Fame alongside Teddy Atlas, Seth Abraham, Muhammad Ali, and all the 150-plus legends of boxing history. So, yes, Terrence is a major draw for boxing fans, and he's got everyone agreeing on the fact that he will continue to be an important boxer thanks to his undefeated record of 37 nils so far. But that also puts immense pressure on Errol, who's going up against Bud for the pound-for-pound -pound best boxer in the world on July 29th, 2023. His contention for the title is credited to his insane abilities. He's like a chameleon in the ring, blending in with his opponent's style and attacking them where it hurts most. All the while constantly defending his own weaknesses and never letting a single crack in his technique show. One of the most underrated aspects of his boxing is his jab and parry. Even pro boxers don't seem to realize how quick and impressive it is for a player his size. Still, can you count on Terrence to keep his 37-nil career-long record? Or will Errol be the one to stand tall and defend his 28-nil wins? You're gonna have to wait for the final knockout. So, from contending for the crown of the pound-for-pound -pound championship title, to being a prodigy in the game with his next-level skills, these were boxing pros' reactions to Terrence Crawford's skill level.